Not a bad haul for five minutes with a gill net. One, two, 15, 16. Ooh, that's a big one, I think. See how they hang on that ledge? When you get up flat, it just kind of stops. And when you get back out on the ledge, look at them again. Of course, there they are. Now those are little guys. There's a decent fish in there. All right, whatever they are, aren't catfish. But I'm gonna fish that area and hope that some of them are. Look at that. Pretty fresh. Talk to them. Right. Look away if you don't like it. Cut this up while my uh, boat's settling itself out. The tide will hopefully be picking up here soon. I thought it was already flowing pretty good. It's going to be incoming tide. I am set up way deeper than I was planning on setting up, but I can always cast through the shallower stuff if I need to. I'm going to get more of an angle. Right now there's not much pull on it, but when that tide picks up, it's going to need a good grab to hold against all this flow. It's not like it's got a bunch of rock down there to hold on to. First guy is off in the shallower stuff. First guy was in the shallower stuff, but now we got one in sort of the shallow stuff. That guy was off. You still on there? What's going on here? He's swimming up. Yeah, he's swimming up. Yeah, he's on. All right, now we're starting the day. Now we're not starting the day. Wait, yeah, we are. Okay, that was confusing. What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Fly Daddies. Starting the day pretty strong here with a fish. Uh, not a giant fish, but starting off. Uh, I'm down here on the Potomac again. I'm catching the tide just as it's coming in. It's a good time to start the day. I'm in one of my usual spots, but hey, last time I was here, I caught a 50 some pounder. So I'm gonna fish it again, you know, it's just gonna bring you back. Doesn't mean that 50 pounder is still in this spot, but it could be and there's plenty more of them uh i'm fishing really deep right now the back of my boat's at 50 feet and i got like 30 all the way out to probably casting into about 60 out there so i'm fishing this deep hole i was trying to set up a little bit shallower and right now i had a hit on that and this guy they both came slightly shallower water but you know it's pretty early into the trip i don't even have 10 minutes with lines in the water so too early to start judging if they're deep or not but hey this is a good starter fish all right december 4th out here catching fish what are you guys doing hopefully you're out too and if you can't hopefully this holds you through not everybody can get out in the winter and fish i get it but yeah that's a good starter fish but they have plenty of room to go up and i hope they do i have a feeling they will <laughs> nice he torpedoed right on down to the deep get that line back out there he left me my bait it was the smallest chunk i had out too so let's see what happens thanks for watching guys all right i guess i'll run through my rig here um so i got 30 pound big game Ber you know berkeley big game mono that's my main line nothing fancy this stuff just works even on big fish uh then i got just a barrel swivel i think this is a doctor fish i don't really have an allegiance to a brand doctor fish works pretty good but any stout barrel swivel works for me and then this is just 80 pound monofilament line the cheapest you can get at walmart I think it's it's either Zebco or Eagle Claw. I think it's Eagle Claw right now. I swear it's the same company. They look exactly the same. And then this one's got a Demon Dragon on it. It's the only one with a Demon Dragon. The rest uh, uh, either have just the cheaper floats or no float at all. And then 
10 knot demon circle or whatever mustad hook uh, i got a variety on but this is my favorite hook this is the one i will re repeatedly buy even though they're expensive um, make sure you get the uh oh what do they call them what? there's a cheaper version of those do not get them the the hook points are crappy i got it ultra point yeah you gotta get the ultra point ones the regular ones suck but these are really nice they've never let me down kind of wanted that a little bit further to the right that's okay all right now we're gonna wait but yeah i don't do anything fancy all of mine are fish finder rigs carolina rigs however you want to say it um that's just what i do it works for me so i don't change it boy that's a slow takedown easy i know you're not a flathead are you just a little fish swimming up river or a big fish swimming up river maybe all right whatever you are you're on getting some head shakes now they don't feel giant but they feel decent i'm gonna need you to stay away from all these other lines what are you gonna do you got a baby on over there looks like it he's trying to swim up river i'm gonna put you in here and i'm gonna crank down on this guy Maybe not. I think it's, yeah, it's still on there. Ready? He's on. I'm going to rely on his weight to set the rest of the hook because I didn't really crank down super hard on it. What a weird fish. It's just sitting there with it. That must be a baby. It's hitting like a baby. Uh, I think we are going up just a scotch here. This guy's just a little bit bigger. Than that first one. Cool. All right, slowly moving up in size. Maybe the next one will triple this thing's size or quadruple it. That'd be fine with me. So not crazy action but the action is here and i'm excited to see what else comes out of this deep hole cool hmm. more bites coming from that shallower stuff than the one i just put out <clears throat> even so i'm going to give it a little bit more time before i try to shift and start fishing shallower any moment a giant could come along that deep stuff it's rare that I get giants in the 20 to 30 foot range though. Attempt number 10 on this rod. Somewhere around there. Exaggerating, but just can't take get any solid takedowns on it. I'm wondering if it's this crap here. Whatever those are tons of them just coming and pecking at the bait but they're not big enough to actually get the these circle hooks in their mouth i think that's what i got going on here in fact they could just be swimming into the line there's so many of them so i got like another minute or two here and then i'm going to scoot further up along this ledge here and try to fish a little bit shallower more in like the the 30 to 40 foot range oh oh here we go no nope just kidding but um, eh, I think he's still trying but yeah this isn't keeping me here this isn't what I came almost three hours for he's on though for now well, he's fighting harder than I would have expected for how weenie of a hit he's been doing Oh man, there's so many head shakes. He might get off with how much he's shaking his head. 
probably wouldn't hurt to move anyway because of all the debris coming down whenever tide starts you get a lot of debris and uh i'm sure i got leaves and grass and stuff all over my bait it's probably not worth staying here or at least if i do i gotta recast but i think i'm gonna move it's a process though with a 30 pound weight the uh, anchor you know 50 feet down that's a lot to move and then all six rods actually I have a seventh one out there suspending it's a bit much uh he's a little big but I think I'm gonna keep him only because that's pushing out not that that's gonna stop him from living but it's an excuse I really only need one or two of these guys if I'm gonna have a meal so he's in the eater class he's coming home Swimming up, swimming up. Gotcha. All right, so yeah, I just moved and it's paying off, man. Two hits before I even got the rods completely out. And this one, uh, well, I guess this was completely out. But uh, yeah, this one's feeling decent. That one that hit over there looked good, at least. But yeah, this one's got some weight to him. I'm gonna start, have to start shedding layers here. One of the reasons I took a vacation day today is because of the the warm weather promised and the lower winds. Right now we're getting both. Where are you going, fish? Don't go out that way. This one's big enough to go where it wants to go at the moment. I'm trying to keep it below these other lines though. There we go, he's swimming up now. Slowly, he's just kind of meandering. I think he's going to be the biggest of the day so far. Yeah. Might even be a netter. Might. It's in that fun class range. I know that because it's fun. Yeah. yeah. That's a good fish. Take him around for the net. I loosen the drag a little so he's pulling some yeah all right he deserves to fight that hard that was a he's a good healthy sized fish glad i moved already all right come on up fish oh you took more line than i thought oh now you're gonna show out here mangling this got it cool 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 get you in the boat here oh, it's so nice when it's not so cold that your boat's freezing oh this is on the head chunk nice i just put a head chunk on this and i already got a fish the first one never got anything in the first spot but that's a good fish certainly the biggest of the day there he is he, oh he's got some cool spots some on this side like the juveniles channel cat spots but look on this side he's got black spots all over him <laughs> it's definitely some unique pigmentation Let's see if i can show you with this camera I can't get too crazy though. I got a fish on back there. Cool. All right, you guys got to see it. Oh my goodness. What's going on back here? Whew. That one's on, or this one's on. That one's still acting like it could, could just be on this line. I don't know. I do know I'm freaking hot. It's not a bad fish, but I'm getting this net out of the way and I'm putting take my beanie off then I'm gonna get this jacket off when the fish give me a chance all right thanks for playing ball fish being kind here 
don't think he's quite like what I just had, but he's not bad. Whew, I'm cooking. I am cooking, guys. The action is warming me up. So is the warm weather. My wife texted me a while back. I haven't even been able to get back to her. She probably thinks I'm in the water somewhere. Hey, that's what you come down here for, though. You want the action. All right, so that was just another fish biting that I missed. That's cool. But, I mean, it sucks I missed them, but who cares when there's... It's just a good sign that there's a lot of fish around here. And he's still getting tapped. Chances are it wasn't very big. Oh, it's gonna go. Move it. And I keep my chunk of bait. It was fresh, so that's good. That's another thing I moved, but I also put a bunch of fresh bait on, and that always helps. You're gonna jump out of the boat, aren't you? No. Gotcha. Hey, this guy's got a couple of the spots, too. Yeah, he, uh, he won't straighten out. But he looks like uh, the other fish kind of do, did, except for that last one. Muddy, a lot of them are muddy, which is surprising. Get this line out, and if I'm lucky, I'll shed some layers here. Look at this guy, still trying to eat here. I guess you're worth it. I'll come back to work for my break for you. Finally, one of them connected. I've been getting just taps, taps, taps like crazy. Oh, you're not very big, are you? You fooled me. You're smaller than the one I have in the live well to eat. You know what that means. I'm gonna boat flip you, and if you stay on, your food. Ah, oh, your food. Woohoo! Look at that. He interrupted my my nine o'clock break, but I right, what can you do? These fish don't understand time that well. They certainly don't understand breaks. Okay, so it's slowed down dramatically here. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna keep working my way up this ledge. I don't know why. You'd think these fish would be traveling all throughout this ledge, but for some reason, when you sit in one spot for a long time, the bites just die off. Uh, I could probably sit here another half hour and maybe another wave would come in. I don't know, but I, that's not my style. I like to move. Um, so I'm just gonna go up maybe another 50 yards, 60 yards, look for something that looks juicy, drop anchor and, and get my lines back out. Seems like within the first 20 minutes of a spot, that's like when I get most of my bites. So I'm not gonna, sit here all day let's see what's going on up 60 yards from here That's why I let cameras roll while I'm reeling things in. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that, that grunt, that, that dad noise was a little extra. I didn't need to do that, but it's a good fish. All right, what are you doing down there, fish? <laughs> You guys get that? I almost ha had them off, but I decided to leave one rolling and I'm glad I did. Wasn't a bad takedown for the size of fish, I think it is. This dingleberry is coming up to the surface. You can see I already had two lines in. So it wasn't that long since I just gave that little bit of narration. 
When you're making videos, you always gotta be prepared for the takedown. I'd like to see a striper. I know they're in here. No, they're not typically bottom feeders. But surely one could be in here hungry to get it. I don't even think they're in season. I really don't follow stripers very much. Ah, fish. Oh, yeah. 80 pound test, but I still get worried when I lift them up by it. But if you're going to boat flip, always grab by your leader if that's uh, the strongest part, you know. Some people like to use leader that's lighter than their main line, so if they get snagged, they only lose the hook. But I use heavier for abrasion resistance, and uh, that, when I boat flip, I always grab by the leader instead of my main line. All right. Typical size down here. Very fun to catch. Very hungry fish, and they make me happy. So, it's not gonna keep me here though. I'm partway through the process of moving. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm not gonna go far. We got one. Responding to a work email on the, or text and this thing hammered it. Yeah, here we go. Here's the first real fish of the day. Woo! This one feels good. I hope he stays on. Yeah, buddy. This is a fish. Stay on, fish. Stay on. This one's got weight to it. It's not doing much out there, but it's got a pile of weight to it. He needs to just swim towards me with or against the current. So right now it feels like he's trying to come up to the top. And that will be a battle if he does that. And not the fun kind of battle. Yeah, buddy. Now you're swimming. I don't care if you get in that line. I mean, I do care a little bit, but you don't. You're not gonna upset me too much. They're pretty close. I've got no back anchor to worry about. Ooh, he's trying to throw it. Now they're big head shakes. It's a pretty good fish here. I only moved up maybe 45, 50 yards. I, I mean, I went up further, but by the time I got the anchor out and the, enough line to hold and all, I'm back pretty far, so yeah, I didn't go super far, but I found another fish. Oh, he's coming up to the surface. Don't give up, Bubba. Don't give up and make me drag you in. It's a good way to lose a fish. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. He's not like, I don't think he's a 50, but he's... He could be pushing 40. I mean, he's definitely fighting hard. All right, he's swimming up now, too. Let's get him up past this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, I say finally, but it really hasn't been that long in the day. Ugh. Hopefully we don't get a monster takedown while nothing's recording it. Oh, look at that big beast down there. Big headed male, it looks like. Woo! That's a tank. Oh, I love the Potomac River. Oh, he's hooked really well. Thank God, because I'm going to probably botch this a couple times. Oh, nope. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> that's a fish. Woo! Oh. Yeah, he's in the 40s. <laughs> he's a chunky, chunky fish, guys. 
<laughs> I'm freaking stuck. Listen to that burp. That's good. Get it out. Get it out. I think he'll have no problem going back to the deep. Cool. That's what I wanted. I had some people question why I use, I only use 30 pound line when I'm going for big fish like this. Well, kind of mentioned it earlier. You really don't need crazy heavy line. I like to have the lighter line just so I can fit more on my reels. I don't have giant reels, so it's kind of nice to be able to get more on. And that 30 pound, I've caught 70 pound fish on it. I'm sure it'll handle 100 pound if you fight them right. This guy is just burping up a storm. He's got some indigestion. Forty two in the net, so probably a solid just forty pounder. Yes. Wow, you guys might have actually been able to hear me this time. I know that last video from down here was rough. Um I, I wasn't gonna put it out, but the action was just too good not to. Uh I still need to get an external mic for this new camera, but uh I've done some tests and did another video. You can definitely hear me better than the crap audio that I had on that last one. So oh, he wants to flop. There he is. 40 pounds. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> he fought good too. Ah uh, yeah. Whoo. See if I can hold him away from me so you can get a better idea. Uh, oh nope. He's gonna flop and get me. <laughs> Let this guy go. <sighs> oh man, they've got so much power. It's unbelievable how strong those fish can be. <sighs> hey, if that's the only fish I get out of this spot, I'm glad I ended up going here. Holy cow. Like I said, I didn't move up as far as I wanted to. Really shouldn't be much different than where I was at, but hey he was here or he swam up here while after i moved i don't know just very happy for him cool get resituated then i'm gonna get back to this thing for work i forgot to put my time in so that's no good okay just had to bite the one that the camera couldn't see Ooh, okay, you can bite. Yeah, that's a that's a nice fish. Huh. That's a good one. Heck yeah. He's fighting hard. I don't think he's got enough weight to back it up, but he's fighting really hard. <laughs> All right. You guys see me probably can it never looks like it's filming this way but i'm sure it is yeah this guy he is not like that hook one bit man whoa what do we got on here definitely in the 20 pound range i'd say at least just hard fighting for his size, man. He doesn't want to give up. Just all over the place. Usually fish, at least this size, don't dart around. Man, this one is. It's up at the surface. There he is. He's diving towards me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah he's a he's a toad out there fat she i think it's a she it's got a small head for the body well 
it kind of gave up. It's just like belly up right now. Stop it. Just come over here. How can you be belly up and still be it hard to move around? Almost fell. If you're wondering what that noise was, that was me almost falling. All right. As you can see, we still got pretty good flow here. This thing is just using every bit of it that it can. Got it. That one's got some spots too. I've never really noticed them down here like that. What we got over there? That looks like another fish. Here, look. We got potentially a double. Good thing I said potentially, because you let go. I would have sounded really dumb if I said we got a double and then it let go, but I said potentially a double. What are you doing up there in the shallower stuff? Everybody knows that big fish are in the deep stuff. That's the only place they can be. I know that they go in the shallows. I just have a hard time fishing shallower stuff. I just, I don't know. I just can't get myself to do it. I know I should some sometimes. Yeah, that's a chunky fish. Oh, okay. He's at 30 pounds. Saying 32. So, probably 30 and some change there. Nice. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Nice 30 pound blue cat out of the Potomac River, man. I love this place so much. Why can't I live just a little bit closer? Although I don't know how much I'd want to live in this area. But I'd probably be divorced because there's I'd be fishing every day. Later. No revival needed on that one. That one was ready to go. I didn't have it down in the water very long. But sweet. <laughs> Let's see if there's more in here. That's the only fish out of this area. It's been about 20 minutes, but hey. They're coming slow, but the quality is up there. Oh. Oh. Okay, I was putting my camera or my net back together and this thing's over. Oh, where it he went across all those lines. Let's see which ones he managed to tangle up. You're not big enough to be doing that, you turd. But you're not you're not small either. Yeah, he's not small. And I was just putting bait on. This hand is all slimed up. Ha! <laughs> Alright. This is on a head chunk. Oh, did he swim over top of the lines, maybe? There's no way you got from there over to here without getting in a line. No way. All right, you got a little bit to you. I guess I'll forgive you for what you did. Man, you fall hard, and you did avoid all the lines. Man, I take back anything bad I said about you. You're a really nice fish. You're cool. Muddy, too. Holy cow. You're one of the coolest fish I ever met. How about that? I bet you're popular with all the ladies. Jesus. Pay attention to what you're doing, not your other rods, you dingleberry. <sighs> Can you tell I'm tired? This whole waking up at 3 o'clock to go fishing thing really kicks your butt. <laughs> well, he hammered it, and then he went for a nice little swim. But he stayed out of all the lines, so, you know, I'm proud of this little guy. <laughs> so, get him back. Let's see what else is out here. Maybe they're picking back up. I don't know. That's pretty cool. 
I like it. Let's get some fresh bait on that. That was on a head chunk, and I'm gonna put another head chunk on. It's a nice small shad head. For, you know, Potomac, that's a small head. This is how I like to hook them. In through the bottom, out through the eye or the nostril, but get a good chunk of it, but make sure that your point's still sticking out. Ooh, glad I showed you guys that, because that's point, it's a little rounded, it's not perfect. So I'm going to get the pliers to it. I don't know, I don't think I have my uh, sharpening stone in here anymore. <laughs> I took it out to put near my dartboard, I think. So I just take my pliers and lightly bend it back in this straight. I'm sure hook professionals would say that's the worst thing to do, but it seems to work for me. That also came out in some deeper stuff. Must be muddy out there, because he sure was muddy. I know it's muddy out there, never mind. That's a fish. Yep, yeah, that was a good takedown. <laughs> Holy cow. Whoo. This one's hungry. So the bites are coming slower, but man, when they come, they're good. <laughs> that was a good takedown there. All right. And there's that line. This guy's actually turning the boat a little bit. There's not nearly as much flow as there was earlier. So it's not gonna take as much to turn the boat. This is a good fish, but he's not a monster. But hey, I'll take any fish that fights this hard. Yeah, they're earning their uh, their time on the on the camera today. That's for sure. Oh, I don't know. I can't. I don't think I should boat flip you. Where's the grip? Whoa! We're actually, within reaching. That's crazy. Reaching distance. Man. Got that hook buried pretty good. Here's a nice decent fish, probably uh, 12, 13 pounds, something like that. But boy, did he fight above his weight class. Uh, the, the way he took that down, I thought he was gonna be a freaking tank. But hey, he's just a small bruiser. That's what he is, the little fish that could. He was protesting this whole time. I had him out of the boat. He didn't like it until I showed him uh, his buddies there in the live well, and then he got real quiet. Now he's, he seems to have forgotten about it. Oh. All right, another one in the bag. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that one's on. And that's not a small one. Nope, that's not a small one at all, guys. <laughs> it almost written today off to be honest current it's flowing but just barely and uh yeah i was contemplating just heading up to the ramp but uh i guess i'll stick it down a little bit with the a hammer like that man he's mean so most of these fish aren't really all that big but they are fighting so hard today It's not like the water is like optimal like temperature for them to be fighting hard. Maybe it is, I don't know, 44 degrees. That's, maybe that's their favorite temperature. But uh, I'll take it. Whatever's got them fired up, I'll take it. It has definitely gotten slower. Uh, the bites are very few and far between right now. 
not a bad fish. What's he doing up at the surface already? Jeez, it, we're just talking about how good of a fight it was. It's the second one now. It's just bellied up. It's gonna have to burp. This one came out about 45 feet of water, maybe 50. So, nice. Right in that corner. They've all been hooked really good. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice fish though. It really is, I'm happy with that. Yeah, real quick. Gotcha. You definitely need the burp out fish. Look at that. Nice big helicopter to ruin this audio. Stop it. I'm trying to get the hook down so I can let it go. Really pink fish. Really pink. Got a little leech on it. I'll help you out here. Go suck a smaller fish. All right, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, easy. Calm down, big guy. Yeah, almost 21 pounds. Fought really hard in the beginning and then just gave up. So I might have to try to get this thing to decompress a little bit. But yeah, like I said, really freaking muddy. And it's all pink, like a lot of pink on this fish. There you go. Listen to that. Yeah, I don't think you were gonna do too well. A little softer. Hopefully that's enough to get you down. Got that kind of fish. Let you go up here. If you can't swim away, maybe I'll be able to catch you. It went down. It went down, no problem. Yeah. That might be an end cap fish. We'll see. I'm going to stick it out probably another 20 minutes until this flow is completely done. I'm guessing 20 minutes. Maybe it's 30 minutes. But whenever that dies, I'm going to, I think I might call it a day. Let's see if I can pick anything else up. If not, thank you guys for watching. It's been one heck of a video at least trip hopefully i made it into a good video and you guys liked it either way it's been a great day and stick around maybe you'll see something else who knows <sighs> yeah i got a heartburn great